How do you get a heavy lift rocket like SLS into space? Well, you burn stuff. Traveling through space is hard. That's why NASA's Space Launch System will have to be the most powerful rocket in history. How is SLS able to meet the challenges of exploring deep space? Well, when it comes to our journey to Mars and beyond, there are no small steps. Rockets are full of fuel. When that fuel burns, it creates hot, expanding gas that shoots out of the back of the rocket, pushing the rocket forward. Now to burn, the fuel needs high temperatures and an oxidant like oxygen, which is pretty available here on Earth. But rockets have to travel in space, where oxygen is a little harder to come by. So, it has to carry its own oxidant along with its fuel. Rocket fuel comes in two forms, solid and liquid. For solid fuel, think of a firework. When the lit fuse reaches the fuel, in this case a gunpowder mix, then the heat and the oxygen combine to burn the fuel, creating the hot gas to send it shooting skywards. Once solid rocket fuel is lit, it's going to burn until it's done. There's no stopping it or slowing it down. Solid rocket engines aren't super fuel efficient, but they're very powerful and solid fuel is easier to store. Liquid fuel powers a rocket like how gasoline powers your car. But instead of gasoline, rockets use liquid oxygen combined with either kerosene or liquid hydrogen. And like in your car, you can control how fast or slow you burn that fuel when you go faster or slower. Liquid rocket engines are more fuel efficient than solid rocket ones, but they're less powerful. So which do you choose for SLS? Both. To get off of Earth, you need a tremendous amount of thrust to overcome gravity, so solid rocket engines are key. Once you're higher need efficiency, liquid rocket engines are best. The Saturn V used liquid fuel, while the shuttle used both liquid and solid. The SLS will use both too. In the first flights, the shuttle solid rocket boosters, or SRBs, will be used to boost the SLS off the ground. Once the SRB's fuel is used up, they are jettisoned, leaving the center stage engines, which are liquid fueled, to carry the load. The SLS's efficient use of fuel is key to getting it beyond low Earth orbit, which is the first step to Mars. Thanks for watching No Small Steps. See you next time.